what up y'all kels the great tapping in one time in this video we're gonna go over the registrant the controller the expiration date as well as the resolver when we are discussing ens domains okay so first things first the registrant this is going to be the wallet address that initially initially registered the name okay the wallet address that created the name that's going to be the registrant uh, this address is going to have pretty much godlike powers with this name okay and i'll explain why in a moment next thing is going to be the controller the controller is pretty much going to be the address that is able to manage this name on a day-to-day -day basis now the registrant has the same powers that a controller does so if 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 you if your wallet is the registrant you're going to be able to connect to ens and you're going to be able to change anything about this name all right the controller is going to be able to manage this this name you're going to be able to change anything except for the registrant okay and that's why that's why the registrant is seen as the most high all right you see us at the top all right so the controller is pretty much the manager of this name the con the it's you know the controller you get to control this thing now the expiration date all right so these names you have to register them on a year-to-year -year basis um, now if you do a five character name or more it's only gonna cost you five dollars a year a four character name is going to cost you one hundred and sixty dollars a year for the registration and a three three character domain I believe is going to be like six hundred dollars a year to register this keep in mind um, there's going to be gas fees additional gas fees on top of that okay um, and you can look at all of those prices within this within this app it's, it's very easy to look up you know you probably just go to the frequent frequently asked questions right here um, so the resolver okay this is going to be pretty much we broke that down in the last video but a quick reminder is that pretty much this is going to be you you want to set the public resolver all right and that's going to allow this name to be used if you don't set the public resolver you're not going to be able to use this name all right so once you set this you're pretty much letting the system know hey you know things can be forwarded to uh ens ens can look up whatever records i add and things will be able to be forwarded where they're supposed to go to all right so hopefully that makes sense now let's jump into some more details all right so your expiration date we went over the prices right now something that you can do in here is anybody can come and extend your domain name you don't necessarily have to extend this each year so if you guys want to come and extend kells the great dot eth because you like this these videos that i'm doing you can come to app.ens.domains you can type in kells the great you can go to the name and you can extend how long this is registered for it's real simple you know you can add two years on there if you want to and it's going to cost you ten dollars so five dollars a year and then gas whatever the gas is at the moment i suggest if you do this for me just wait until the gas fees is low all right so this is one way if you uh want to be creative about you know tipping people or whatever in the community that you support 
Um, I sure I'm sure they would be extremely happy if they go and they check on their their Web three identity that they go by, and that name is extended. Okay, that would be love. It's kind of like going and adding some time on on you know a friend's phone bill or something without them knowing. It's a it's a good surprise, right? So that's something you're able to do. Um, also. If you wanted to come in here and let's see if I go to my account something uh um oh we could go over this too. So if you want to actually set one of these names um first thing you need to do is go set that public resolver and then you can put that um, ad those addresses in that you want to be configured. And then you need to come to my account page and you need to click primary ENS name. All right. Uh, with the wallet that you want to tie it to. And you're going to choose from your names. Basically select that name and you're going to make it your primary and it's going to cost you. You know, you're going to click save and you're going to have to pay that blockchain, that blockchain fee. And now when you connect to websites like OpenSea, um, Uniswap and these different decentralized websites, they will recognize instead of pulling up this long hash. Right. To identify you, it's, it's going to actually pull up Kells the Great dot ETH. So as you can see, mine is set. All right. This is called the reverse record so something cool to do if you're ever wondering how do people get their open c account to say their dot eth on there this is how you do it right here after you follow those steps that i told you to do before this all right and the last thing we'll talk about as far as extending you can actually come here and by each of your names you can click the check box all right. This is for bulk extending. So if you want to add years onto multiple names within one transaction, you could come and click all the different names. Or let's say you wanted to do every single name. You could just click the top box and it's going to check every single name that you got. All right. It's just taking a sec. All right. And what you would do is you would just click extend selected once you're ready. Boom. And then you can add however many years you want to add on to that bad boy. Click extend and it's going to pull up all of those names in one transaction. OK, so that's how you would that's how you would extend all them names like that. All right. How do I exit out this joint? All right. Bet that. Uh, let's go see. If there's anything else we should dis discuss. All right. So for the registrant and the controller. Now. One thing that's interesting about this setup. So the controller can never change the registrant. But the registrant absolutely can change the controller. What am I telling you right now? Well, first of all, if you want to have good security practices you can make sure that this uh this registrant is a multi-sig or a cold wallet like a ledger or a treasure or something of that nature right a safe pal and then you know your controller can be a hot wallet or whatever just so it's convenient to use if you want to do it that way, that's like good safety practices. All right. Now, the other thing that I want to tell you is the registrant pretty much is, um, you know, this would be like your your holding address pretty much. So if you want to hold this thing and you want to rent this name out, right? You want to rent it out to a company or maybe an individual. You can already do that with this setup. 
Here's how you would do it. You would pretty much take that person's address and you would set them as the controller. This means that they have control of that name so they can use it for day-to-day -day usage. They can put their addresses into it. They can receive crypto. They can point it to a website if they want to. All of that stuff, all right? And you would be the owner still as the registrant. So you don't really have to sell these names. They're set up already for you to lease them out. And pretty much, I mean, you could do it like word to mouth. You could tell them, hey, you know, you could pay me this much every month or every quarter or yearly, however you want to do it. And if they don't meet that obligation, then you just change the controller to one of your addresses. And now they no longer have access to that name. That's how simple it is. OK, so. Keep that in mind. This thing is already set up like no other platform. Every other platform, I'm sorry to say, but they are way behind. Uh, they are way behind ENS and what you are able to do with this joint. All right. Um, I think I've said enough and covered enough in this video, so we're going to leave it at that. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, you already know, like the video, subscribe to my channel, share the content you know, circulate the information. And until the next one, one love.